Okay, guys, this is chapter 26, problem 3. Um, and so the first part of this problem is explaining the difference between savings and investment as defined by a macroeconomist. So a macroeconomist would define these terms a little bit differently than most other people would. Um, so the, the definition of saving can be found on page 548. And basically, savings is the total income of the country, so total GDP that remains after you take away consumption and government expenditures. Um, and this is 548, this is saving. And then investment can be found on page 549. This is investment. Investment is the purchase of new productive capital towards a specific purpose. Um, so buying a computer for your business, buying, you know, building a new office building, that's all investment uh, in terms of the definition by a macroeconomist. So then the second part of this question is really four parts, and it's saying, okay, then, given these definitions, um, you know, what would a macroeconomist consider these four things? So A the taking out a mortgage and buying a new house is actually the one sort of personal investment savings activity that a macroeconomist would consider investment so a is investment b is saving you just take your leftover money after you got paid and you're in investing personally but a macroeconomist would not say that you're investing in the economy this is still your savings C is, again, savings, right? You're taking your leftover money and you are saving it in your personal account for the future. It's not going back into the economy as an investment for the future. And finally, D is an investment because you're taking this money and you're using it to buy this productive piece of capital, this car that's going to be used for your business. So this was chapter 26, problem three.